Hi. Um, Di, Verlan, and Bridget uh, from Mulaney have come down today to visit the lighthouse at Caloundra. Now, Di has uh, family connections with the area, Moffat Beach in particular. Uh, Verlan has a great interest, having traveled extensively. And I, Bridget, uh, lived at Baron Joy Lighthouse for, in Cottage Number no. 2 at Palm Beach, New South Wales, for 30 years. And you've brought us that lovely book? Oh, I've donated the book to the uh, Lighthouse, uh, Friends of the Lighthouse of Caloundra. We paid a peppercorn rent, we restored the cottage. And as years went by, we also did a lot of work on the grounds, on the smuggler's track, uh, weeding. Uh, we, op we finally opened our house to the public, through the, mainly through the Chase Alive program, which was National Parks program for visitors. We would um, give a talk coming up the hill and then invite them into our home for coffee. and. Um, I always had date duck loaf or something like that. Right. So uh, we had no running water, no electricity, access by poor little drive only. In 1947, uh, yeah. we came up from Victoria and um, my father discovered Cloud and uh, decided we should have a little beach house there, which he uh, had put up out of an old double garage and of course and fibro and uh, we as kids we spent all our school holidays uh, canoeing up and down to White Lake and uh, swimming at Moffat Beach and uh, around at Dickey Beach and um, uh, my mother and father uh, invested uh, then uh, into land down at the bottom of Roderick Street and they bought up quite a big parcel of land down there and um, for many, many years, right into our teens, we, we came up and spent our holidays in our little beach shack at Moffat Beach. It's still actually there, we tried to the other day, but they have built in front of it, extended the house out to the road, but you can see the roof of the old original one behind. Okay, well, we'll be able so to check that one down. Yeah. You know they, they dredged Two Way Lake recently. They might have found, yes. found some old canoes of yours. They may there. have found it. I tell you what, it was made out of corrugated iron. Oh, I had one of those when I was a My kid too. My father made it. <laughs> I remember those. Oh dear, yeah, we, we had good. a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun there in those days. Yeah. Swimming in the Two Way Lake, of course, and everything. Yes, yes. And there would have been a lot of campers there. Oh you know? yes. Oh yes. It was a big, big camp there. You know, especially that. Christmas time, and uh, they used to have concerts, Christmas concerts, on the side of the hill, just up uh, from where the shops are there at Moffat Beach, okay. up yes. the road towards the, the top of Moffat Headland. There, there was nothing there, of course, and then they used to have these beach concerts up on the top of the hill there <laughs> at Christmas time. Yeah. And you remember the, the mullet? Fishing? Yes, yes, and, they, and the, uh, the, the news would go around the whole area that the fishermen were out in their boats, just, you know, row boats, and uh, they'd have their nets out, and then everybody rushed down uh, to get the mullet. They'd just pull them up onto the beach, and you'd just take a few buckets down and fill your buckets with mullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they're saying it was always the soft sand at Moffat, they couldn't get their vehicles there, so they no. just uh, leaned on the local holiday makers to help um, right. pull the nets in. Yeah, we did, we all used to help pull these fish up onto the beach. And you remember the Lock Theatre? Yes, did yes. Did you go there? there? Oh, yes, all the time. I went to the Lock Theatre, matinees and show, you know. Films. Do you remember the wildflower reserves? Yes, yes. Of course, Kathleen MacArthur. Um, you know, she used to yeah. all 
those wildflowers. And, um, she had a house in King's Beach. That's right. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to, she used to open up every now and then. You could go to her place and look at all her paintings because she sold them as postcards. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. She was, she was um, you know, very upset when they, you know, put in Kiwana because they destroyed, you know. Yes. A lot, but there is the reserve there, of course, still. But it was only very small. Such a shame. We used to walk as kids. We used to walk along the top of the dunes, all the way up to Point Cartwright. And in spring and summer, you'd, you'd look from there, from the top of the dunes, across to the west, and it would just be a sea of colour. It'd just be. Miles and miles and miles of wildflowers. It's just absolutely beautiful. We used to fish off the rocks a bit, of course, as kids. You know. Yeah, yeah. And do you remember the um, yeah. Pa Bendel? Yeah, yeah. They used to surf there. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, I do remember them. Yes, yes. And of course, um, uh, Governor, the Governor uh, Wilson. He had. Um, that's right. You, you were, there was a story about that. Yes, wasn't there? yes. He used to walk along the beach all the time. And we'd be down there swimming and um, one day uh, my mother you know Moffat Beach being not a good beach really for surfing she got knocked over by this huge wave and she lost her teeth <laughs> Her teeth came out, and along came this. Uh, we knew who he was, and he came along, and here he was down in the water with us trying to find my mother's teeth. <laughs> and we, you know, everyone said, The captain of Queensland was trying to find your mother. Oh, dear. We never did find them. We didn't find them, even with his help. <laughs> Well, I just remember, that, you know, before we Dad actually put up the little shack, um, we stayed uh, across the road where rain trees is now, and the, and the what, I'm not quite sure the, uh, his name. There was a, a European uh, Chris Riley, Riley was it? That's right. And uh, he had little uh, little huts there, so we used to come up weekends and stay in these little. little. Another thing we used to do was there was a, a farm. Uh, up at the top near the school, there was a farm. I'm not quite sure what sort of farm, may have been banana grower or something, but he used to hire out horses. Okay. And was that the Mortmans? It could have been. And we used to go up there as kids and, and, and hire the horses. And there were no saddles or anything, they were just bareback. And then we used to ride down to Moffat Beach and then we'd sometimes right up to Point Cartwright. My mother would pack up a few sandwiches and we'd go up on the horses for the day. And wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was good. It was, it, was, it was really just wonderful when you were kids at that time. It would have been 47, probably up until we were well into our teens, uh, still going up there. Um, so that would have been probably um, you know, well into so we so sort of the late 50s. Yeah. We lived in Brisbane. Brisbane, right, We came okay. up from Brisbane, yeah. So you came up holidays, weekends? Yes, yes, weekends, holidays, you know. But yes. And would have been quite a drive in those days oh, too. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. it was. We used to stop at Burfangary at the. Um, uh, there's the creek there at Burfangary. I don't. Maybe it's called Burfangary Creek. But my mother used to pack our lunch. Yeah. Lunch. And we'd stop there at lunch. Right. <laughs> That's how long yes. it took. <laughs> right. Have lunch on the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's different today. Yeah. Oh yes, you can say that again. Yeah, but we, I mean, it was it was a real adventure. Every time we came up, it was an adventure. Yeah. It was just like, yeah.